Hey Freedom Fighters, how's it going? This is Kala here at Students for a Free Tibet International Headquarters bringing you SFT TV. SFT TV is your source for news, information, updates from SFTHQ right here in New York City. Log on, tune in, and rise up with us here at SFT TV. Today is Thursday, December 13th, 2007. Let's get to news. Um, this is from Economic Times. <laughs> Jet Li says China, Tibet should be unified. Jet Li, a prominent follower of Tibetan Buddhism, says he has met with the Dalai Lama and respects his teachings, but believes that Tibet and China are part of one country. Uh, from a religious point of view, he's a master, Li said of the Dalai Lama, adding that when he met him in 2000, he told this uh, spiritual leader that he backed having the 2008 Olympics in Beijing. Um, quote, Lots of famous guys. They are my spiritual leaders, but it doesn't mean I agree with their politics." End quote. Lee said without specifically naming anyone. Uh, he believes that China, Tibet, as well as self-ruled Taiwan should be, quote, unified together. Um, <laughs> Lee says on his official website that Tibetan Buddhism, quote, has inspired and accelerated my understanding of life. You know what, Jet Li? F you. F all of you that think you can take from Tibetan culture and religion and not think that you can bring in the political side as well. How dare you go... If anyone has seen his, check out his website. He has a bunch of pictures of him in Tibet looking like he's walking around frickin' Shangri-La. This is just so typical of the colonizer mentality. They can go in and, you know, prance around with the natives and, you know, go to their little um, villages and take part in their little ceremonies. All the while, systematically um, committing genocide against the Tibetan people. Jet Li, you're a punk. That's all you are. You're a punk. And just because you're a Tibetan Buddhist does not mean you're a good person. Just because you're hiding behind like this pious, I don't, I don't know, I don't even know what it is. It's like, the short end of it is Jet Li is a colonizer. He is nothing more than another mouthpiece for the Chinese communist regime. And I am never watching his movies. Besides, they're stupid movies anyways. So, um, check it out. You can check out this article on Payul.com. That's P-H-A-Y-U-L.com. Jet Li, screw you. Um, next on Better News is... Um, this is from the, uh, uh, the UK. Chinese president sets gold, standards and gold standard in human rights abuses. Hu Jintao presented with a mock gold medal award on International Human Rights Day in London. 100 Tibetans and supporters protested before the Chinese embassy in London on December 10th, the International uh, Human Rights Day. They named and shamed the worst abusers of human rights and recognized them with Olympic-style medals for the worst offenders in the human race. The gold medal went to Hu Jintao, President of the People's Republic of China. Tendon Sumpel, chairman of the Tibetan community in Britain, presented the gold medal to President Hu Jintao for his, quote, continued violation of human rights in Tibet and China, end quote. He also added, the president of the People's Republic of China presided the Lhasa martial law um, in 1989 and was responsible for the death of many Tibetans. Runner-up for the silver medal was Wu Aying, Justice Minister of the People's Republic of China. Pema Yoko, National Coordinator for Students for a Free Tibet, United Kingdom, said, quote, The silver medal goes to Wu Aying 
for her unjust punishment towards Runge Adak, who simply voiced that Tibetans only dream for the return of His Holiness the Dalai Lama to Tibet. Right. Adak was recently sentenced to eight years in imprisonment following his public call for the return of His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Shamelessly pulling up the rear was Jacques Rogue, president of the International Olympic Committee, awarded the bronze medal. Um, so definitely check this out. It's on Payul.com. That's P-H-A-Y-U-L.com. And there's some really amazing pictures of that action in the United Kingdom. So good job, UK. Y'all rock. Um, so coming up, we're going to be showing a um, on-the-ground report with uh, Hillary in the Midwest showing their un, um, unfurling of a banner for www.beijingweareready.com and following that right after is um, Minnesota SFT's amazing video. Um, so definitely check that out and we hope you will log on, tune in and rise up with us here at SFT TV. Um, alrighty folks, uh, enjoy the videos and good job Midwed, uh, Midwest, good job Minnesota, sorry, Jetley's still pissing me off. I'll fight you dude, I will fight you, not violently of course. Um, so thanks for logging on, tuning in and rising up with us here at SFT TV, peace and Momo Grease. Okay. I'm here in Madison, Wisconsin, we're local members of Team Tibet are joining in the launch of www.beijingweareready.com playing off of the Beijing Olympics one year countdown slogan. Basically this group is saying we are ready for the Beijing Olympics. We are ready to promote human rights in China. Today is International Human Rights Day and the group members of the SFT and the local team for that are working with the local Falun Gong group and the Ashton Sudan group to promote human rights and to make China accountable for their actions. Tonight they will be joining together the Wisconsin Tibetan Association for a candlelight vigil, remembering those who have died due to human rights violations in China, but also to promote human rights for the future in China as we promote to the Beijing Olympics. These members of Team Tibet and the local Students for a Free Tibet group are also members of the Tibetan Exile Radio, WisconsinTibetanRadio.org, which podcasts weekly. Check it out online and from Madison, Wisconsin, Beijing, we are ready. Yeah, not so, me, some of Yapotan, Kichi, Yapuchi, Kalimapuka, Milan, Ransiko, Love, Ransi, 